Good morning, good morning, good morning. Carol Davis here with a spot of sunshine for you on this wonderful Wednesday morning, October 21st. Can't believe it, another year is almost over. Oh, holy cow, what a year, huh? So today we're on the second installment. We're continuing to read Hope for the Flowers. And this is a tale partly about life, partly about revolution, and a lot about hope. So the first part we read yesterday, or what we read yesterday was stripe and um, <clears throat> yellow. They're two caterpillars. One is striped, one is yellow. Imagine that. So yellow's the girl. And um, stripe had just met uh, yellow, but kind of, only because he stepped on her, climbing the ladder to who knows where. This kind of reminds me of corporate America, people stepping on other people and just get to the top. What's at the top? Nobody knows. But we're go we're working on it. We're climbing the ladder. So Stripe had just had one of those aha moments when he stepped on yellow and he whispered, I'm sorry. Well, when you're climbing the corporate ladder, you don't do, I'm sorry. No. Or if you live anyway. Uh, and yellow began to cry, and that's where we begin today. And Yellow began to cry. I could stand this life hoping in what was ahead until I met you talking to yourself that day. Since then, my heart just hasn't been in it, but I don't know what to do. I didn't know how badly I felt about this life until then. Now when you look at me so kindly, I know for sure I don't like this life. I just want to do something like crawl with you and nibble grass. Stripe's heart leapt inside. Everything looked different. The pillar made no sense at all. I would like that too, he whispered. But this meant giving up the climb. A hard decision. A lot of us have been, have been on the climb and thought about that. Yellow deer, maybe we're close to the top. Maybe if we can help each other, we can get there quickly. Maybe, she said, but they both knew this wasn't what they wanted most. Let's go down, Yellow said. Okay, and they stopped climbing. They clung to each other as masses of caterpillars crawled over them. The air was terrible, but they were happy with each other and made a big ball so nobody could step in their eyes and stomachs. Ugh. They did nothing at all for what seemed a long time. Suddenly, they didn't feel anything crawling over them, and they, they unrolled and opened their eyes. They were at the side of the caterpillar pillar. If you didn't see these pictures yesterday, that, see? Remind you of anything? Hi, Stripe, said Yellow. Hi, Yellow, said Stripe. They crawled off into some fresh green grass to eat and take a nap. Just before they fell asleep, Stripe hugged Yellow. <laughs> being together like this is sure different from being crushed in that crowd. It sure is. She smiled and closed her eyes. Chapter three. <coughs> Excuse me. So Yellow and Stripe romped in the grass and ate and grew fat and loved each other. They were so glad not to be fighting everybody every moment. It was like heaven for a while, but as time passed, even hugging each other seemed a little boring. Each knew every hair of the other. Stripe couldn't help wondering, there must still be more to life. Yellow saw how restless he was and tried to make him extra happy and comfortable. Just think how much better this is than that awful mess we left, she said. But we don't know what's at the top, he answered. Maybe we were wrong to come down. Maybe now that we're rested, the two of us could make it to the top. Dear Stripe, please, she begged. We have a nice home and we love each other and that's enough. It's so much more than all those lonely climbers have. She was so sure Stripe let her convince him, but only for a while. Stripe's hankering for the climbing life worsened. The pillar haunted him. He crawled there regularly, looking up and wondering. But the top remained clouded. One day at the pillar, three thuds startled Stripe. Three big caterpillars had fallen from someplace and smashed. Two seemed dead, but one still wiggled. Stripe whispered, what happened? Can I help? He 
He made out just a few words. The top, they'll see. Butterflies alone. The caterpillar died. Stripe called home and told Yellow. They were both very sober and quiet. What did the mysterious message mean? Had the caterpillars fallen from the very top? Finally, Stripe announced, I've got to know. I must go and find out the secret of the top. And more gently, will you come and help me? Yellow struggled inside. She loved Stripe and wanted to be with him. She wanted to help him succeed, but uh, she just couldn't believe that the top was worth all it asked to get there. She wanted to get up too. The crawling life wasn't enough for her either. She also had to admit that it looked like the pile was the only way to do it. Stripe seemed so sure that Yellow felt ashamed not to agree. She also felt stupid and embarrassed since she could never put her reasons into words that his kind of logic would accept. Yet somehow waiting and not being sure was better than action she couldn't believe in. She couldn't explain, she couldn't prove anything, but for all her love, she couldn't go with Stripe. She just knew climbing was the wrong way to get high. No, she said, heartsick, and Stripe left her for his climb. Chapter four. Yellow was desolate without Stripe. She crawled daily to the pile looking for him and returned home at night sad, but half relieved that she never saw him. If she had, she feared she might plunge after him knowing that she shouldn't. She felt like doing something, anything, rather than this uncertain waiting. What in the world do I really want, she sighed. It seems different only every few minutes, but I know there must be more. Finally, she became numb and wandered away from everything familiar. So that's where we'll leave it off for today. <clears throat> we'll start tomorrow. Leave you in suspense. Tomorrow is Thursday. I know you'll be here. Now remember, please, 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 Forward this to all your friends, but also send out the message to everyone that every day I load these on YouTube. So you can go visit any of these broadcasts. There's like 97 of them now. Isn't that cool? On YouTube. It's Change Less Change. Change Less Change YouTube. C-H-A-N-G-E-L-E-S-S. C-H-A-N-G-E. YouTube. Change Less Change. All of these broadcasts, Spot of Sunshine, are on YouTube forever and ever and ever. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.